Good morning. <coughs> Good morning and welcome to the launch of my latest collection, which is a designer series designed by Peter Toffolos. Uh, let me just refresh my computer so that I can see the screen and everything to make sure that I'm showing everybody everything perfectly. Bear with. Okay. Excellent. Morning, Maxine. Morning, Julie. Morning, Brenda. Oh, it's very exciting, but I was trying to do something and I suddenly was getting away with me and I was running out of time. But anyway, I managed to do it. Oh, and all these names are whizzing past now. So hi, Sharon. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Philippa. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Sue. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Tricia. Oh, it's lovely to have your company. There's lots of people um, flashing on now, so that's brilliant. Oh, they're coming up fa fast and furious now. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Virginia. Hi, Sandy. <coughs> Hope you feel better, Sandy. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Janet. Okay. So... I'm hoping, hi Penny, hi Mary, hi Joan, hi Hazel, <laughs> hi Ruth, God, yeah, I was sitting here like tick tock, tick tock, and then all of a sudden it was like, ah, it's gone nine o'clock. Morning, Catherine. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, morning, Mary. Morning, Sharon. Morning, Judith. Morning, Lynn. OK, um, <clears throat> so I'm hoping I haven't seen him yet, but obviously not everybody comes up as well. They don't tell me everyone who's um, watching. So hi, Katie. Um, so I'm hoping that Peter is around and watching, but I don't know for sure. But I'm, I hope so. He may well be at one of his markets today because he does lots of different markets and different companies that he goes into to sell his fudge at. So I know it's quite a busy time for him at the moment. So, but hopefully um, if he is watching, he will type a message and say hello. So, but I'm gonna flip the camera. I've done a little piece on the, um, on the Facebook page this morning, just to introduce Peter, because I know lots of people won't know That's who well, he is. Tell me um, uh... But I met him when I was working with Crawford Cards and um, he came to one of the shows to sell his fudge and it's amazing I have to tell you <coughs> if you like fudge and I don't particularly like fudge but Peter's fudge is absolute oh it's, it's just gorgeous and he does so many different flavours um, so yeah so I met Peter at the craft show and we've remained crafty friends ever since and he does the most amazing watercolour um, pictures just beautiful of flat all sorts of things but particularly flowers and recently i saw some and thought oh, they would just make amazing stamps and so i contacted him and we have some in front of me so i'm going to um flip the camera yeah i've got he sent me a box yesterday so i'm, I'm very lucky anyway um i'm gonna flip the camera and show you what's in the collection and then i've got lots of samples to show you and then i will be back here tonight as well at eight o'clock but i'm gonna make something tonight so um and i should tell you i've also pinned a list of stockists to the top of the page as well like i usually do um but just to let you know and i have to say as well <laughs> that I didn't realise the response from the trade would be quite what it was. And one of the stamps has already sold out and the other one is in very, very low single figures. So I don't have any more to give the trade. And uh, so if you do want them, don't, don't hesitate, okay? So they are with Dragon's Paper Crafts, they are with Craft Stash, they are with Let's Create, Forget Me Not Craft Cabin, Maximum Crafts, Luby Crafts, the Art of Crafts, Craft Bliss and the Mulberry Bush. 
and they are winging their way over to Simon Says Stamps as well. They should be with them early next, well, they should be with them at the end of this week, but probably on the website by next week because it's Thanksgiving out there as well. So um, they may get a little bit delayed put on the website. So let me flip the camera and uh, show you what's in this collection. Bear with me. Right, the lights. Whoops. Okay. Right, so let's put the, I was trying not to get too much glare. I took my glass mat away because I'm not going to make at the moment. Okay, so the first one in the collection is Peter's Chrysanthemums. And these are three different, um, I don't know, three different angles of the chrysanthemum. I don't know how to say that. Yay, Peter's watching. <laughs> Oh, excellent. Oh, I'm so glad you've joined us, Peter. Thank you. Right. OK, so I've just sung all your praises and sold your fudge for you and everything. <laughs> anyway, um, different flower heads. Thank you, Hazel. Um, so we've got the three different flower heads in here. We've got a couple of leaves as well. And we've got a chrysanthemum dictionary definition. Now, this isn't. The card that I saw Peter um, when I approached him but it's very similar he'd actually hand drawn it but this is one that he's done with the stamps so I just think that is absolutely stunning beautiful and we've added the best wishes which is from the with love stamp set so how gorgeous is that? It's so realistic. I mean, that's what I loved about them. They're so different to mine, uh, my flowers, because I, I can't draw realistic flowers. But the, to me, that was just crying out to be a stamp. And it is absolutely stunning. So I'm only going to show you one card from each stamp set at the moment. Then I'm going to show you all the cards that go with each individual stamp set. So that's the chrysanth. Then we've got... Cosmos, Peter's Cosmos, and in here we've got some buds, we've got a flower head, we've got some sentiments. I'm going to show you them properly in a minute because I've done boards and a little sprig. And then this is the one that Peter Peter did. And again, he's used lovely, I love how he does like watercolour washes in the background as well. And there's that little bit of um stenciling as well on there and then I've used flowers friends are like flowers who brighten your day which is one of the sentiments that's in there and that's been done with um, platinum embossing powder but just that beautiful wash around those flowers it's they're just so gorgeous and what I like about it as well very much especially this one is one stamp <coughs> excuse me one stamp and you have a beautiful card ready to colour in. If you love colouring, then these stamps really are for you because they are just so fabulous to colour in. Whatever medium you use, whether it's watercolours, whether it's pencils, whether it's ink pads, crayons, whatever you like to use, they really are fabulous. Um, right, the next one is, we'll do, oh no, we'll do just for you next. So along the lines of the happy in the birthday that we've done recently I've done just for you and in here you get other sentiments that work with it as well and again I'll show you the board in a minute when I do the the cards um, but again in that lovely really bold font and it just makes them really stand out on your cards so a couple of Peter's chrysants foiled with um, embossed with platinum and then Platinum embossing powder for the Just For You. And they're so simple to cut out as well. But you don't have to. You could just cut them into squares, whatever you want, really. And then I've used this with a little bit. This was from my background stencil. And I've done it onto a piece of vellum. Just attached that to the front. But just, I, I love them. Really love them. So that's Just For You. Then we've got With Love. And again, you've got some words that go with it. But it's the same font as the Happy and the Birthday and the just for you so you could do love you but yeah you can make all sorts of sentiments so and then this one hazel created this one um she's used peter's cosmos i love how they've done how she's done it just in the one color and just a, a wash of water um, across the flowers just looks absolutely beautiful and then the, the with love <coughs> 
again stamped oh it's got scent with love sorry we've got a scent up there as well but just another beautiful beautiful card and then the last thing in the collection is the stencil so this is the first this is called shapes number one and it's ovals and in here you get the oval stencil with a lovely decorative edge i'll show you in a minute i've done a board and you get the masks as well but you get two different sized ovals as well to use and then this is the card that i made using the, the stencil and again just using that centerpiece that lovely decorative decorative piece around the edge a couple of the chrysanthemums stamped one i cut in half put half on one side half on the other and then again i've used the thinking of a new out of the sentiments and again done it in platinum but again just a really lovely card just one color as well okay so let me clear the decks and we will start with the chrysanthemums I'll pop these to one side and I've got a board and the stamp set and I know we've seen Peter's card now I want lots of love okay for all the beautiful cards that the design team have done so in fact if I do it that way then the light doesn't reflect off of it does it there we go so this is the stamps that you're going to get the again the three different style flower heads and the beautiful watercolour painted. And this is stamped. Peter stamped this. Just beautiful, though. This is another one of Peter's. And this one, he's done it onto the... I'm going to bring it up so you can see. But this is done onto the squares, the dinky square die. So he's die cut those out. But beautiful watercolour background. And then those three chrysan different chrysants. He's done each, one of each of the heads. And again, friends are like flowers who brighten your day. Really lovely sentiment as well. So that was Peter's. This one was mine. Um, cut an aperture using my circle dies. Used my dinky one inside. And then did the chrysants, but in platinum, embossing and coloured them in. And then added the friends are like flowers who brighten your day. And I've got the chrysanth wording as well around the edge of the card with a little bit of stenciling then got one from marion this has got a lovely inky background piece down the side and then she's done a lovely sparkly <coughs> embossing powder with the uh, chrysanthemums down the side isn't it lovely just we wanted to bring out just a small collection stamps um perfect christmas present for you like everyone deserves a little treat don't they um but yeah just just lovely um stamped in black the chrysanth got make a wish which comes in with the cosmos and i've used hazel's happy birthday stamp and a bit of stenciling so they can be how whatever you want them to be. Oh, i love this one that hazel's done as well okay so i said if you love coloring look at this this was done i imagine with pencils um, and hazel's layered up the flowers she's layered up the orange the blue and the purpley one and just with the with love as well and best wishes she's used the chrysanth word in inside but isn't that a fabulous card absolutely gorgeous and then one from philippa where she's used the stamp and the meaning the dictionary meaning and then use the other chrysanthemums around the edge as well really simple you can get so many different styles out of you know the one set of stamps which is that's why i love i get this is philippa's i love this i love how she's done the leaves to create a border down her card absolutely stunning i just don't think to do that she's done lovely things with the envelope with the scent with love envelope that i would never have thought of doing either another one from peter where he'd done lovely watercolor background on a wash with a lovely dye actually and then he stamped the chrysanth to create his background and then we've got the just for you and that's been heat embossed so stamped in black but with clear embossing on the top 
absolutely gorgeous. And then this one is one of mine. So stamped in the Versafine coloured ink pads and then I coloured them in. And then again, just with the wording on there as well. And then one of Peter's. So again, beautifully watercoloured and with a dinky, on, laid onto a dinky square. So again, this is the one of the dinky squares and this is the scallop square from the dinky dies. And then for someone special, which is one of the sentiments as well. I'm seeing all these messages go up and I can't read them quick enough. But I will, as soon as this is finished, I will go back and read them all with a coffee and enjoy seeing what you're all saying. So um, really simple. This is one of mine, just smudges of inks with the black uh, chrysanthemums cut out and put on the top. But I just think it's so effective. So it just shows you all the different things that you can do with this stamp set. This one's from Marion. She's done a bit of masking here and she's used two different coloured embossing powders. So we've got a lovely soft green on the leaves and then a very pretty peachy colour, which she's also used as a layer in between. So beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Another beautiful one from Hazel. An inky background, but she's... I imagine you've masked these. Stamped and masked your leaves and flowers and then added your colour. But it's gorgeous and it's got some lovely pearly winks. I imagine it's pearly winks spray on the top. Absolutely beautiful. And then the last one, I was very inspired by... This card reminds me of Marion. So I was very inspired by Marion. Just one simple stamp. Cut it down and then cut round the flower and then cut it down again. Little tiny bit of stenciling and a bit of colour along the edge. So really, really simple. But I thought you had masked them, yeah. Really simple but very effective. So just just from that one stamp set, such such a versatile set of stamps. <coughs> so the next one is the Cosmos. Let's get my my printout. Right, so this is good. So you can see this properly now. So in there you're getting the actual big focal point stamp, which is beautiful just to stamp out and colour and that just fabulous for me you get the bud you get the head and you get a little sprig and I'm going to show you such a clever card from Marion who would have thought you'd be making Christmas cards with that little sprig turned into a little tree how clever is that <laughs> I love it and then you're also getting the sentiment. So you get friends are like flowers who brighten your day for someone special and make a wish. So nice sentiments in there as well. But how clever is that? So clever. OK, so um, we saw Peter's one earlier. So this is where we've got a lovely wash of colour behind the beautifully coloured in or painted, I would imagine. Um, of the cosmos as well and again just with that simple sentiment just beautiful and then we have one of joe's i love this thought this was so clever um make a wish little bit of stenciling and then that bud and i just think make a wish just goes with that so easily and so well i thought that was brilliant and then one that I've done, I did the stamping with platinum onto vellum. And then I cut my rectangle die, created a frame. So the, the actual front of the card is vellum. And then I've coloured that with, I think I did it with ink pads in the end. And then got one, another one of Peter's where he's done it in white embossed onto craft. And how beautiful does that look? Absolutely gorgeous. And again, use the Make-A-Wish, but use the um, hexagon dinky dies this time. And I love, Peter's actually coloured this in. It's got like metallic paints on it. Oh, it is picking it up. How lovely does that look? So nice on the craft. Then we've got a lovely one from Marion. 
where she's done a lovely bold bit of inking across the center and then just stamped in black with the clear embossing on the top because it's shiny but how effective is that really is so clever then we've got oh i love this one as well that philippa did where she's used the big flowers around the edge in black but just that little panel and it's flat she's masked it uh, with the buds colored in how lovely is that and again how funny that because philippa combined it with make a wish and this is where these little ones are so useful this is the sprig that Marion made that tree from, but Philippa has used it as a filler in with the buds. So clever. And then a beautiful one from Hazel, where she's used the stencil and the word love and always. And again, used the cosmos and coloured that in in blue. Honestly, I'm so thank, so thank, <laughs> I can't even get my words out. I want to thank the DT, the design team, so much because I really, really enjoyed playing with these stamps because it was such fun. I love just to sit in colour. And so for me, these were absolutely perfect. But to see what everybody else has done with them, it just makes, shows how much variety there is in the designs. This one Joe's done, where she's coloured it in, I would imagine, um, with markers. Probably, um, oh, what they're called, clean colour, <clears throat> I would imagine. And then she's done an inky background because it is actually on a white card. I had to feel because I was like, she had me confused for a while. I wondered if it was a bit of blue card, but she's she's blended. And then obviously the sentiment just in white onto black. Really lovely. And then one of mine. So this one, these were actually done, I stamped them out and then just did a really heavy inky background over the top, which is why you've got the colour around the, the stalks and everything and made sure that the the green, was, or I left the bottom piece clear so that I could um, colour that in. And then I've used vellum for my wording and again in, in platinum, I don't have any other colour, I only need one jar really. Um, and then I've used the flower head, which again, this is why I like to give you these little extra pieces in the stamp sets, because they are so useful for doing backgrounds and things like this. And it just ties everything in then. And then this was probably my favourite one, which was one of the first ones I did. Um, Coloured in with ink pads, a little bit of my background stencil. I think I was even waiting for the stencil. The, um, oval stencil to come and I couldn't wait so yeah and just a bit of glitter glue but just beautiful and then lovely one from Joe so Joe again must have stamped and masked the she must have masked it see this is what does it look it like but you must have cut all that out to mask it well maybe she did I'll have to ask her uh, but that lovely with that bit of stenciling behind as well. And again, that beautiful sentiment. So you could put this on and still have a birth, make it a birthday card. It's beautiful. And then what else have we got? This one is from Philippa. And this she's done in a soft pinky colour ink pad. Well, actually, I don't know how you've done this, Philippa. Have you done it in a very pale colour and then gone over it with pencil around the edge she'll put a comment up I'm sure um it it looks to me like she's done a can't think what they're called like I want to say a no ink <laughs> oh I can't remember what it's called when you do it and you do it in such a pale color and then you color over it fade out ink oh okay so it's a special ink pad that fades away is that right when you stamp it so that you can then when you color it you get the color that you're coloring with oh wow that's that's interesting um, another beautiful one from hazel this one she's decoupage so she's lifted done extra layers with her flowers lovely with the background again from the background stencil just beautiful absolutely beautiful and I've got a couple more from Marion. So again, with the strip 
a beautiful ink blend in and then she's done a gorgeous sparkly embossed image on here this it's so pretty really pretty and then for someone special and then a very bright and colorful one for me so i did a rainbow background with the tim holtz watercolor pencils and then i just stamped in black over the top so i loved having a, a day of making backgrounds and then being able to just use them up so i used one of those there got another lovely one from marion where she's used again another really pretty embossing powder got a bit of sparkle in there in fact there's a there's I think she's sprinkled different bits on for this one. And then we've got this lovely watercolour effect behind it. It's just gorgeous. And that birthday wishes from the wording stamps are so lovely. And then the last one, this is one that I did. I used my circle dies and cut a frame, but I embossed it. So it's got a beautiful platinum circle going around the flowers. And then I linked lifted the flowers up at the bottom here and then again with my sentiment to match in and a little bit of glitter glue and some glosses of course in the right colour so that's the cosmos cards right we'll do just for you next so with the wording you get just for you obviously but then you get just because um, you are special. Thank you. Thinking of you. And you can do love you as well. But just different words that you can mix in with the just for you just to make it go a bit further. So this was the card that I shared earlier with the chrysanthemums. And again, in platinum embossing powder. It just looks gorgeous. And then this is one that Philippa has done, where she's stamped the chrysanth in different coloured ink pads for a background and then done the wording in the same, in like similar colours, but to really make it stand out on the front of her card. It's beautiful and it's layered up. It's actually very clever. She's layered just onto white, but she's done several layers with white card. And that is so effective. I thought it was embossed. It almost looks like it's embossed. Gorgeous. And then this one is from Jo, where she's got the chrysanth stamp very softly in the background. You can see it in real life. It's not picking it up terribly well. You can see it. Um, but it's got lovely chrysanth in the background. The chrysanths that were embossed, but she's blended. I like that. I hadn't thought about doing that. She's blended the ink colour onto the flowers and the leaves isn't that lovely and then we've got just because with the word in and then marion's done one beautiful with embossed chrysanthemums where she's masked it as well because we've got the leaves going behind but then she's done vellum and white embossing with thinking of you over the top very very pretty all tearly colors so very marion another beautiful one from joe and i I never even thought about leaving them white, but aren't they gorgeous? Just with the yellow centres. And there's a little bit of grey on there, actually, and that really does bring the flowers out, that bit of grey. And then again, thinking of you. So, so many different sentiments that you can get from this just this one set. There you go. Philip is sort of another one. Because you are special. So, there you go. And I love how she's only used part of the... The stamp but she's got some more flowers as well because we've given you those extra flowers i think that's lovely yes i totally agree brian big respect to the design team couldn't do it without them i know i say it all the time but honestly i just i couldn't so this was one that i did i've used the oval stencil and i've shaded it so i did orange and then wild honey and dried marigold and did the same on the card and then I used the flower again in the background and then just stamped a black cosmos over the front and then those lovely words again so, so I just think these are so useful they really make your sentiments stand out on your cards 
just a lovely, lovely, lovely addition. Okay, so we've got, we're nearly there, ladies. <laughs> so we've got With Love now. And he got With Love and then the, the stencil. Okay, so we've got With Love. So you've got Scent, With Love and Best Wishes. You've got just Best Wishes that you can use. You can use Scent With Love. You can say, I love you. You can say, love always or I love you always. Whatever you want. So lots and lots of different sentiments that you can get from that one. This probably is my favourite card. I love this that I did. <laughs> I used the stencil and I used, um, I can never remember its name, Salvage Patina and Kitsch Flamingo and Dried Marigold. And then just part of the cosmos and with love and best wishes that I did with platinum embossing powder. Very simple, but just think it looks lovely. And I did my glitter glue around the edge, which I haven't done for years. So, yep, that's my one. And then I love this from Marion. Um, white embossed. She's done some masking because we've got our leaves behind. And then she's done a bit of inking. And when you add that coloured ink to white embossing on white, obviously it really makes the designs pop. And then you buff off any ink that you get on your embossing. And I love how she's left the middle white as well. Not quite white, but not put as much ink in the middle so that your sentiment. So she's got love you on there in white, white embossing. Then, <coughs> excuse me, another one of mine um, with the chrysanth and all the little bits and pieces, the buds and everything here. And then just love always with um, platinum embossing powder on the front. And then one from Hazel with the chrysants. A lovely, th so she's got them in the background, some splats on there. She's used the wording. Then she's hand cut another one out and layered that on the top. And then she's stamped with love and best wishes directly onto the paper. So it's flat. But how lovely is that? Just beautiful. And then one from me. Uh, this was an inky background that I had and I die cut it with my scallop edge rectangle. I stamped some chrysanthemums and some leaves into the inky background and cut them out and then cut my with love. So you can be quite mixed media and messy or you can be lovely, clean and simple. They everything It will work so well. Another one from Marion where she's used tape as a mask and she stamped... She's inked and then stamped and embossed the chrysanthemums in the stripes. Can you see that? Is it picking it up? I'm not sure. Oh, you can see it just about down here. And then she's cut my rectangle, my scallop rectangle as a frame. And again, use love and best wishes on the front. I think that's lovely. And actually, I was just thinking, if you did that in red and white, it would look like candy canes. So it could make it a Christmas card. Could put Merry Christmas sent with love and best wishes. Would look lovely. And then this is the one that um, I showed earlier from Hazel where she's done the cosmos and in the group just in one colour, which I love cards like this, and then using the, the with love in the same colour. So that's the with love stamp set. And now the stencil. So I want to do a little bit of explaining about the stencil. So you get the stencil and you get the masks. So when you ink them up, that's what your stencil will, get, will give you. So you'll get the oval with the lovely edge and you get a separate oval as well. And then with the masks, you can ink the other way so that you've got a plain centre, but you've got inking around the edge. So fabulous to use either way. And I want to show you a few bits that I've done. I think this is probably the best one. So I used the stencil and what I did, I was gonna run through this tonight. 
but I will show you it now. I taped with thin washi tape, I put the centre back in my stencil and that meant I could put paste through it and just get that outside decorative edge. How beautiful is that? And this is sparkly. This is onto mica, a mica sprayed piece, but this is um, embossing paste with sparkles, silver sparkles put over the top. It is so pretty. And then I did a red one with gut with copper sparkles over the top, I'm trying to get it to pick it up, show you it better. But I think it shows it a bit better on the dark one. Oh, there you go. I can get it on the copper one a little bit. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to run through things like that with you tonight. But I also put the stencil through my embossing, my die cutting machine on a piece of vellum. And you get the the pattern shows on the vellum. There we go. Just about see it. It's quite hard to pick it up on the camera, but in, in real life. And I did this one has gone through the um, embossing as well. So I this has been that's the deboss side. If I can get the angle right. And then I added some colour. So this is actually raised up. So when you see it in real life, you can see that it's raised. And then I thought, hmm, I could use my oval, but add my cloud stencil. So that's what I did. I did the oval, but then I put the cloud in between and just um, stenciled through with the oval and the clouds. So I did a multi one and I did a soft one. I mean, how lovely would these be for baby cards and things like that? Just lovely. OK, so then this was the card that I showed you earlier. So just using the oval and again, the chrysanthemums and some wording. And then this one I did, I dry embossed. No, I used an embossing folder to do the vellum. So it's got a pattern on it. And then I stenciled through the oval to get that shape. And then I've added the cosmos just in white on the top. And then I love this that Jo has done, where she's done two ovals, but done rainbow colours and put just for you on it. I think that is absolutely fabulous. And Jo's used gold embossing powder for that, but it looks lovely. And then this is also Jo's, where she's done different shades for the oval. Again, and then just stamp the, the Cosmos. It's such a lovely, the stencil works so well with this Cosmos stamp. It really does. And then lovely with that black card and white embossing. And then this was a very clever one of Philippa's. So this is using the mask. So she's put the oval down and inked around it and then stamped her chrysanthemums and what have you, but left the centre white. But she's used her wording. First and second generation as well. Really lovely. And I love this as well that she did. So she's actually created this herself. This she's used part of the cosmos and then she's used, she's actually cut that out. So she stamped it and cut that out, placed it onto a inky oval, but then she's created this really pretty bottom piece just with the edge of the stencil. So clever. And then another really clever one from Hazel, where she's used the stencil, made it darker, so that's the focal point. But then she's added the chrysanthemums into the centres of the top and bottom ones. So clever. Really is. And then this one that Marion's done, where she's used the over, I mean, great for Easter cards, actually. And then just adding the sentiment. And then we've got another one from Hazel where she's used the stencil, but again, she's used the Cosmos stamp through the stencil. Just beautiful. And I love this decorative bed round it as well. So pretty. And then I made this one. So using the um, paste and the sparkles again, and then I had this out of the mica spray. So I stamped the Cosmos and just put the two together. 
and just think it looks lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so give me a second. So this is the complete collection and it is available from Dragon's Paper Craft, from Craft Stash, from Let's Create, Forget Me Not Craft Cabin, from Maximum Crafts, from Luby Crafts, from The Art of Craft and from Craft Bliss, the Mulberry Bush and it's winging its way across the pond to America to Simon Says Stamps as well. So really, really pleased. I, I'm so ch let me flip the camera sorry make sure i can sit down as well like my chair's not gone okay so i am just so chuffed that there are so many comments whizzing by that i will now make myself a coffee go and sit and read them i'm sure peter will be reading them as well and thoroughly enjoying that you're all the comments that I've seen have just been so positive and so lovely. So congratulations, Peter, on the first release. Get working on some more. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, ladies and uh, and gents. Of course, I'm sorry. I always forget, Brian. Sorry. Um, yeah, and I hope you can join me tonight at eight o'clock where I'll be doing a demo using the stencil and the stamps and everything. Um, and yeah. Please go off, make your purchases, place your orders. <laughs> Thank you so much, though. Really appreciate your company and uh, hopefully see you tonight. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.